everyone and welcome to another episode of Extreme Prince Originals. And for today's episode, we'll be featuring the prehistoric planet Cernosaurus. And here's the making of our Cernosaurus. Okay, so we started off with this um, base figure of a medium size. I would say medium size because my other hadrosaurs are, you know, the basic size which are quite large. Um, uh, this is a medium size hadrosaur. You can see that I've used some parts from, uh, I don't know, a Dilophosaurus as well as from other bootleg figures. This is a Dilophosaurus um, mini. Uh, it's a small Dilophosaurus head that I you know, I already cut down uh, with Rommel uh, much of the uh, details added in the tail here and of course uh, uh, modified the arm so that it would look like a hadrosaur. So the Cicerosaurus is not that large but uh, nonetheless it has some bulk uh, compared to our minifigure here as well as the Ajnabia. You can see that uh, there's quite a difference in terms of size and even when you compare it with the um, hadrosaurs that I currently have this is actually quite smaller than those hmm. all right so uh, after this we'll be moving on to sculpting so I made uh, several changes to the sculpt of the uh, hadrosaur here uh, I place the tail high up here so that it looks more in keeping with the hadrosaur and also apply this, that to this particular figure over here. And now all we have to do now is put on some clay to it, slatter it all over the figure. Huh, uh, I'm just kidding. And you know, um, make some detailed changes. Alright, so let's do that. So here is a rough, I would say, sculpt of the head of our uh, Cisternosaurus. Um, well, there's a lot more to be done, uh, but I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. Uh, so one side is well half done, well, but the other is, you know, <laughs> still needs a lot to do. You can see that I've actually coated the under uh, or the lower jaw with uh, some aluminum foil so that when uh, this one dries up, I can still uh, use the articulation of the lower jaw right okay so here is the uh, primer <coughs> hadrosaur that we had here so eh, it's all good uh, there's or uh, there are some you know imperfections but nothing that paint can actually hide <laughs> so let's move on with the painting oh sorry so here is our cisternosaurus and it's now ready to paint <laughs> so we have here acrylics, of course, some brushes, and also um, water. And we're going to mix up everything and, you know, come up with something cool uh, for you guys. All right, so probably we'll just go into a quick, you know, uh, a quick run through of the paints while I paint it. So that you can follow through with the painting. Let's go! All right, so the first color would be a mixture of uh, white, unbleached titanium, and a uh, raw umber. So here we have a mixture of uh, yellow ochre, some white, and also the titanium, uh, bleached titanium earlier on, and we're somehow creating a gradient of colors from the lighter um, lower body sections earlier on uh, towards the, uh, the the end. So. Uh, 
Okay, so I hope the camera focuses. <laughs> so here is the secondary color that we have. So we just lightly, you know, brush over some parts of the neck, the body, and also the head, as well as the tail, just to give it that transition color trend. So, so do not overdo this one because uh, we don't want to lose the um, what do you call those? The yellow colors on our creature. And so. Okay, so much like the Parasaurolophus, the Parasaurolophus actually also has a similar coloration, but later on you'll see that uh, once we're getting on the end of the video, you'll see that there's quite a big difference so so there here is a mixture of red uh, uh, raw sienna and a little bit of yellow ochre we're painting in this on the uh, most top portions of the creature same on the other side so here we mix a creamy gray color and we're putting on the I don't know, stripe details on our uh, Cernosaurus and we're carefully, you know, um, plotting in some of the lines. Now, I don't want to go overboard with it, although some of the Cernosauruses actually have different ways of how they were actually printed or uh, the way the stripes come along with. Uh, uh, not all of them are, are the same if you would notice. But uh, at least for 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 my Cernosaurus, uh, this one should have a gradient of darker, darker um, shades of gray lines on the top more portion, then lighter as it goes down. Now we're just adding on the details, so just painting the individual. Oops, individual. Um, spikes on the back of the Cicernosaurus that's it that's it for our um, the making of the video and here are the winners of our guest PC contest. First up, we have 10 lucky picks. Here they are. Robert Stone, Swollen Head of Dragon, Lakshmi Siva, Eligorial Korea, Ayutai Channel, Jurassic Friends, Cezanne Menace, Cretaceous Cough, Unofficial Jurassic World, and System. Congratulations everyone, and now for our top 10 winners. Mim Raptor Wayne Mark 11 years old boy Super Bobek Dino Beats Terry the Mr. Terry Sinosaurus F Nath Troman El Cabo Cardito Prehistoric Species Prehistoric Life and Cretaceous Bricks. Congratulations everyone and I'll see you in the next guest PC contest. For those of you who'd like to join here, so just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage and the homepage. Just click on the community link to see all our posts. And now for a closer look on our Cicernosaurus. And here it is, our Cicernosaurus based off from the Prehistoric Planet series. And actually, Evie here is most excited about this one because this is the first time that we've actually done a hadrosaur that is of this particular size. And probably we'll be doing some more hadrosaurs of this size because, you know, how it is, I'd like to herd. <laughs> well, uh, e Extinct here will be coming back later on. So, let's have a closer look on our Cicernosaur, shall we? So, the Cicernosaurus is actually based off from this particular photo. For those of you who haven't seen the uh, uh, Prehistoric Planet uh, series yet, it's a cool 
uh, it's one of those you know uh, most awaited dinosaur based um, series uh, and we're just happy to have that and uh, since we're you know paying homage to that this is actually this is Cernosaurus so I made one because you know uh, I'd like to make or I'd like to include some herbivores into my collection as well so this is Cernosaurus is uh, well now not a small but a medium sized hadrosaur and uh, it uh, it actually is uh, featured in the deserts um, <clears throat> desert series of the prehistoric planet uh, and uh, it is a very interesting in terms of coloration because it has a gradient of uh, red to white uh, so a lot of colors being used here but uh, you can see that it looks very muted but actually the coloration is quite intricate all right so there's also a lot of you know stripes also running down uh, its body and that is probably why it became so muted because of the gray um, stripes but nonetheless you can see that uh, you know a lot of work into the coloration here is actually done also it has uh, it has some uh, what do you call those uh, scoots or uh, uh, spikes running down its back and uh, it's colored uh, off-white yeah and then the rest is you know um, a detailing done on the head on the eyes of course on the nails as well well um, so in terms of articulation uh, this particular dinosaur has quite a lot to be honest so it can open and close its mouth actually like so Got stuck for a while, yeah. And it has a ball and socket joint for the neck, so it has a lot of movement to it. So it can eat on the ground, it can look uh, up like so, right? Uh, and it can turn sideways, right? And then, of course, the arms can move like you know, it's walking or well, when it's lifting up like so, so you can put it like like that in this position of course the legs can move um, like in a walking position or it actually uh, levers uh, or ang angles the body into certain options like uh, you know uh, standing on two feet or you know on all fours walking or even running sprinting like so <laughs> right so of course the tail also has some some sort of uh, hi Moira some sort of movement to it uh, and yeah so it's a really cool figure and I hope someday Lego would consider mm -hmm. making some hadrosaurs into their collection as well since they're moving into you know adding some herbivores as well like the brachiosaurus which is which is I'm most excited for uh, I'm going to get that and I'm going to show it to you guys here on this channel as well so watch out for that uh, this particular um, custom going back to this one also has two studs on the back I didn't want to have all fours because uh, you know hadrosaurs would taper you know um, their uh, bodies uh, more what do you call this uh, less I mean uh, on the upper section so two studs lined up like that would be most uh, uh, appropriate I guess <laughs> so that is our um, closer look on our um, Sasernosaurus let's now move along with the next portion of this video and moving to our size comparisons and Evie here is back for some size comparisons and as you can see here our Cicernosaurus is uh, well well it's not that big for a hadrosaur so it's quite a good uh, size comparison compared to this particular photo over here uh, although this one is actually quite smaller than this one it's it's I, I think a good uh, a good comparison in terms of size already well we will now be moving on with comparisons with my other figures uh, and also from EB 
uh, toy universe so we'll start off with the smallest one that I've got for a Hadrosaur this is the um, what do you call this these these are uh, Ajnabia so the Ajnabia is one of those smaller um, species of Hadrosaurs and uh, while well, bringing back like uh, Eevee here you can see that it's really small since it's smaller than a human uh, figure so but uh, probably if there are other you know I, I like how I made this one it's more in keeping like a Corythosaurus like uh, figure uh, I, I really love how I made this one so probably I'll be making some more in the future because well uh, you know how it is <laughs> if I like something I'm going to try to make some more of it so uh, smaller hadrosaurs for me uh, and uh, probably medium sized hadrosaurs also so that's the Ajnabia guys now we have here another comparison let's just bring the uh, Cicernosaurus back uh, here is the Oranosaurus uh, which I made for uh, Camp Cretaceous uh, well, it looks like it, and um, uh, it's quite big <laughs> compared to our Cicernosaurus. So, guys, if you haven't seen the um, uh, Oranosaurus, guys, please check it out. It's a cool video along with other Camp Cretaceous creatures. This one actually has a removable seal to it, so I, I don't think it's necessary, but, you know, just for playability, I included that as well. Rock. All right, so... Another is the Iguanodon that I made uh, based off from the dinosaur um, movie from uh, Walt Disney uh, way back in 2000. So uh, I call this Aladar. Well, uh, he looks like Aladar at least. So this is the Iguanodon uh, again, uh, much larger species than our Cicernosaurus. So I don't know guys if you have seen that movie but that is one pivotal movie that you must not uh, you must not miss uh, because um, it's very rare that you know um, Walt Disney would make any dinosaur film so dinosaur or I mean Aladar uh, another more um, famous uh, species from the Hadrosaur line that I have would be the of course the Parasaurolophus <laughs> Of course, this Parasaurolophus is based off from where else? Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? And I know you guys have seen this a lot of times in my uh, channel, but if you're new in my channel, again, please do like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Well, um, also, EB Toy Universe has made a Parasaurolophus, a level 41, so you can see the difference between my Parasaurolophus and the Parasaurolophus that he made. It's quite large and you know uh, like how the level 40 uh, creatures in Jurassic World the game are they have exaggerated features such as you know um, like uh, such as this one it has an exaggerated crest to it the colors are so awesome things like that so uh, guys if you haven't uh, checked out the channel EB Toy Universe please check it out Mike does the custom there and sometimes I also help and uh, the 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 customs there are way way elaborate and uh, they he he does make a you know such a great job at you know depicting the creatures of level 40 dinosaurs in the jurassic world the game so guys please check out the parasaurolophus on the well level 40 parasaurolophus on eb toy universe i'll be placing the link below uh also uh, another uh more i guess uh <clears throat> uh famous creature from or species from the hadrosaurs would be the lambiosaurus uh, since most uh, it's actually based off from their genera lambiosaurin uh, they have a whole family of lambiosaurin uh, uh dinosaurs so this is the lambiosaurus i think this is based off from the prehistoric kingdom video game so uh, please check it out. It has cool colorations and designs also on uh, on its head. All right, so guys, check out the Lambiosaurus. And lastly, we also have the Olora Titan. So I included the Olora Titan here because it is uh, one of those larger species that I got. 
uh, aside from the of course the uh, Edmontosaurus um, uh, this one is a very colorful wine you can see that it has uh, bright orange details on the sides of its head uh, or of its body the crest is adorned with uh, very colorful you know designs here so um, this is actually much larger than our Sassarnosaurus and even larger than our Parasaurolophus as you can see here there well it's not very apparent but yeah so it's it's larger than our Parasaurolophus there you go so the the legs here and also the body height is much different than our Parasaurolophus here so and that's it for our size comparisons guys I hope you enjoyed that one let's now move along with Stink Freak Species Roll and we have here all the creatures that I've shown here so far and if you do have other uh, suggestions of other uh, species that you'd like to see even if it's not from prehistoric uh, planet please comment them down below other hadrosaurs probably that you'd like to see here on this channel that I uh, haven't done yet please comment them down below also EB here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our Extinct Freaks playlist over here but I'll also be placing here individual links of all the hydrosaur toys that you see here so far on this particular video so that you won't have to go through all 400 and plus videos uploads that I've already included in my channel. Well, let's start with our Extinct Prix Species Roll Call, shall we? So, let's start from this one. This is our Extinct Prix um, Custom and Shnabia. This is our Extinct Prix Prehistoric Kingdom inspired Lambiosaurus. This is our Extinct Prix uh, pre uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Oranosaurus. This is our Extinct Prix Jurassic Park Jurassic World uh, Parasaurolophus. And this is our Extinct Prix Jurassic. Uh, um, Alora Titan <laughs> and of course uh, the start to show here this is our Extinct Bricks Prehistoric Planet Inspired Cicernosaurus and that's it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed this one and if you happen to like it well don't hesitate to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell guys and that's it for the video I hope that you have a great day ahead and I'll see you on the next guys thanks everyone also, please do not forget to support our other channels, EB Toy Universe and The Adventures of Moira and Usher. Please watch their videos and support their channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Thanks everyone and bye!